that the land of Palestine is the land of Israel. Always when you hear it, think about someone coming to you the dead of night in London and tells you, I used to live in your house 2,000 years ago, and because of that, the house belongs to me. And the next day, they come with the police. And the, next, and the next day, they come with the police who says, they have a right, you have to give them half of their house. Zionism was a settler colonialist movement that was running away from persecution, but it wanted as much of Palestine as possible with as few Palestinians in it as possible. This was the aim of Zionism in the late 19th century. This is the aim of Zionism today. We are all entitled to go through the same process that happened in South Africa. We are entitled as Jews and as Palestinians to live in one democratic state where everyone is equal and stop and reject an ideology that claims that some people are equal and some people are not. I'm asking you for the sake even for Jewish communities around the world because settler colonialism in Israel will become worse as the century will continue. For the sake of the people who live here and the sake of the people who live there, we are entitled to have the same... If you're a Palestinian and you live in Gaza, you're just, you're just stuck. You're stuck forever. And that's why forever. these people are... Like, people from America, they're like, why? The, you know, that's why you have this mantra like, oh, they want to die. They raise their kids to be suicide bombers. No, when you're in Gaza, you are born dead. You don't have a life. So that's why these people are giving up their lives to send a message to us that's why they're doing this that's the only reason they're doing this is to send a message to us help us that's all they can do is use their bodies it's just terrifying to me it's forget sad. about whether it's israel or palestine forget about what it is the, the idea that people could be stuck born stuck in this spot and really have no recourse and not nowhere to go and just be thought of by people that live just a few miles away from you that you're a subhuman and that the fact that someone can make that t-shirt with one bullet two kills and show a pregnant woman with crosshairs on her belly that scares the shit out of me when you pray for rain you got to deal with the mud too Just how you planned it Life could put you in a pickle Just make sure it's kosher Lean on me like Bill Willis Until you smell the roses What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die try. You see the thumbnail. You see the clip. And to me, this is why, you know, uh, Israel versus Palestine is interesting. I actually saw a clip of, of Joe Rogan talking to a woman. And she was saying, you know, how the situation is bad. And Joe Rogan was like, I can't understand how you could just oppress somebody for all this time and they don't have the same rights as other people. And I'm, I'm looking and I'm like, this is the issue with Americans. I don't know how you can just, just rob and steal and pillage and kill people just because they're different from you. Where does that exist, America? But it, but somehow it just, you know, white people in America just, no, that didn't happen in this country. This is the land of the free. I'm not a victim. And it's like, oh, okay. So our, the American hypocrisy of it is one thing. Um, the other hypocrisy that, that, that I watch, because most... I think this is a situation that black Americans just like staying out of. And and before I get to that, watch when basketball season happens, they're going to try to throw, throw Kyrie Irving in this immediately somehow, like he belongs in this conversation. <laughs> just just because basketball season is right around the corner. I'm just saying, Kyrie, who do you think? The Israelis or the, or the Palestinians are right, Kyrie. Oh, okay. But the hypocrisy of this. So... You say you're God's chosen people. And because of that, you just rob, steal, pillage, and kill a whole group of people for decades. For decades. 
And you think there's not going to be a response. And to, to, in those and those very people say, you know, we come from the Holocaust and they tried to wipe us out. And you go to this different land and try to wipe them out. And just callously and cold-heartedly and really, in some ways, psychopathically or sociopathically say, God told me I belong here, so I'm supposed to do it. And those people are Muslim. The people that tried to wipe you out in Europe were Christians. So you don't have you don't have this much smoke for the Christians who tried to wipe you out. You just you have this much smoke for the Muslims. So it's like a ridiculous misplaced hatred. And and as the guy said in the clip. You're trying to tell people, oh, my family lived here 2,000 years ago, so this should be my house. And they could say, no, my family lived here 2,000 years ago. What are you talking about? Now, let's just, like, as far as the religious context is concerned, both of those groups aren't native to that land. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, both of them aren't actually native to that land. They both... Uh, migrated to that land. Uh, the Palestinians migrated over time, years, to years like centuries ago. Um, and those quote unquote Jewish people, I don't even, I think they're from Europe, if I'm not mistaken. Their whole lineage is from Europe because people don't really want to hear that the, the actual religious truth is the original Jewish people, the Hebrews, look more like me than them. They just took on a religion. You get what I'm saying? And to take on a religion and pervert it in such a way that you really try to destroy another people is pretty much, you know, you're, you're basically mimicking what quote unquote happened to you to say, you know, we should never forget. And the American part is America, the American government is funding this. Now, the American government fought in World War II against the Germans to stop this and then turned around and funded a similar thing to happen which is ridiculous you get what i'm saying it's ridiculous now i would say this like as um in a religious godly principle if if let's just say y'all don't have to kill all of those palestinians let's just say y'all get them all out of that land and don't kill them all let's just say that if you do that I personally think that the whole narrative of um, Jewish people being an oppressed people who people have, you know, people have always had an issue with, it's really going go to gonna go out the window because it's going to say the first opportunity you had to actually, you know, just be a godly people, you just, you, you delved into some devilishness. Now, they like Jewish people can say, hey, man, y'all paid us to do this. Y'all thought we were doing right. I mean, constant, like people got to know this is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong for somebody. Like if, if somebody say, hey, man, I saw he got treated in your house over there. You could come stay at my house. And then they and you go, oh, I appreciate that. I can come stay at your house. Cool. And then they get to your house and then they say, this is my house. Now I'm taking everything. I belong in this house because 2,000 years ago they told me I'm supposed to be in this house. Anyway, you invited me. We, you know, It's cool. The people over there treated me bad. You different from the people over there that treated me bad. You invited me in here. or, or you know, So it's mine now, punk. And I'm going to do everything I can do to get you up out of here. It's like, yo, this is why this is interesting. You know, this this is this is colonial. Colonial. God, this is colonized. This is colonization of a people, you know. And there's gonna come a point where people are gonna stop funding, quote unquote, Israel. People are gonna stop, you know. It's not gonna go well, man. And those people are surrounded by people who who have a different religion. And these people are watching them. Oh, this is how if you if you treat the Muslims in in the area like that. Oh, yeah, we know what you're going to do to us. And, and this idea, like, it's a self-fulfilling prophecy to say, you know, we're constantly attacked. Is you're in a place where you're surrounded by people different from you. And the best thing you could have did was been a peaceful neighbor. Cool, peaceful neighbor. But instead, you basically 
went to war with a whole religion and you're you and you're going to center yourself to be surrounded by all of the of all of these people you considered an enemy and truth be told you made those people an enemy and I think white America is, go, is, is, is willing to watch this happen because white America is looking at it like what happens when they're surrounded and outnumbered by people that quote unquote don't look like them? How long is it going to take for them to just collapse? And the reason why I say white America is looking at it because white America is getting, you know, their population is dwindling in America. So it's like, oh, because in a sense, in, in, as far as oppression and spinning in oppression and trying to make yourself the hero when you're doing, you know, the wrong thing to somebody, America and Israel are pretty much doing the same thing. Pretty much, pretty much. You know, you could say America, Israel, South Africa, pretty much on the same time, you know. And at some point it comes to an end. Now... Because and the reason I say what I'm saying is because it's interesting, you know. Is is it any of our business? No. But even like in America with the situation with Donald Sterling, right? Uh, that used to be the owner of the Clippers. He's a Jewish guy. I remember the spin tactics when, you know, the the young lady was like, "Well, there are black people in in Israel who are who are Jewish. Y'all you treat them well." And the guy was like, "They're dogs," and they edited that out to to not put that out publicly. It went out like maybe for a couple of days, and then it, you never heard that part of the clip anymore. And people are like, oh, okay, we see what's going on. And, you know, then you get the anti-Semitic rhetoric, and it's like, for a group of people who say, we sh you should never forget what happened to us in, in, in Germany. The question is, what do you think these Palestinians are saying about you? We Y'all should never forget. We, Palestinians could probably say the same thing. We should never forget what happened to us for six, seven decades in quote-unquote Palestine slash Israel. We should never forget what these people did to us. We should never forget these people came in the middle of the night and said, this is my house because I say so because 2,000 years ago, we were it was supposed to be my house. That's like, okay. Because that's, that's the same manifest destiny BS that they pulled in America. This is our land. We are entitled to it because, you know, this is God's plan. And it's like, I, I don't think God told you to go to somebody else's house and just Take it. You know, stealing is not a part, is, is against God's principles. You know, you know, murder is against God's principles. You know, trying to remove somebody off of their stuff, you know, and even in the Bible, they said they took their land back. They marched around for 40 days and 40 nights, blah, 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 and marched around, and God did the work. If you God's people, God will do the work for you. You don't just go do stuff like this and then go, oh, okay, we winning. And, the, and like I said earlier, the callousness of this, like, okay. And the reason why I'm speaking to this, I saw online of another, uh, another kid of another man's page on Instagram. And it was this, I guess this white kid, Palestinian kid. I don't, I couldn't tell. And he was walking in the mall. He was like a 10 year old kid. And I guess the guy said, the kid said something about free Palestine and this Jewish man Grown man in the mall was going off on this little kid, and they was trying to keep the grown man off the 10-year-old kid. And he's like, yo, he's 10, chill out. And the dude's basically, I don't, I cut it off because I'm like, is this dude about to attack a 10-year-old? And and I'm like, yo, so if, if somebody would have caught you attack, if you would have, if an adult would have beat the brakes off of you for the way you were, the way you was trying to get at this 10-year-old, you would have turned around and said that you're being anti-Semitic and it's a hate crime because you tried to attack a 10-year-old and you're 20, 30 something years old. And somebody have been defending a child, but you would have said it's anti-Semitic. And it's like this, 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 this approach and this logic is bad, man. It doesn't end well. And I know some of y'all, well, it's just like black people in America. No, because black people in America, we always going, it's like, no, nah, we don't like, this is not going to happen. Yo, we, I know y'all always on something. And for white people in America to be shocked, what's going on? How you white in America with the history at, from, pre, from, from a full, you, first of all, America has a longer history of being, of acting like this than Israel does by hundreds of years. So when America goes, I'm surprised, I didn't know what was going on. Shut up. You know what's going on here? When somebody say reparations here, no, you're not. This is my land. 
Uh, no, you you know you can go back to London and, and pull that stunt. Two thousand years ago, this was my my great mammy's house. And it's mine now. You wouldn't pull that in London. And that's the other thing about this. These are things that you wouldn't pull with other white people in other places. You go to to people who don't look like you and pull these stunts. The Native Americans got that. Us black folks got that. It, it, you know, in America, I I told a story about you know my great grand yeah my great grandfather's land. He died. They tried to kill my great grandmother. And she had to move to New Orleans and live in the projects. And they stole the land. That was in the 60s, I want to say. 1960s. You know what I'm saying? And they living on that motherfucker today. Land, oil rig, everything. Now, if I go over there and say, hey, I'm about to shoot y'all. <gasps> He's a savage. He has no right to do that. It's like, yes, I do. But then somebody will say, yo, that's what the... That's what the Jewish people are saying. No, it's not. They don't even know. Like if they, like here's the interesting thing. And I would, I would, I would question this, you know, just in general. You know how we take all these DNA ancestry tests? Why? Maybe I'm wrong, for, and I don't know this. But why not? If you're just, if you feel like you're held to that land and it's actually your land, why don't you take an ancestry test and see where your ancestors are from? You know, just take a DNA test and see where your ancestors are from. And I, and I guarantee most of those people's ancestors are from uh, Germany, Poland, Russia. They're not from uh, Israel, Palestine, or Ethiopia, where actually where, where um, Judaism actually started. They, 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 they probably have their they're, they're African, Ethiopian, Jewish ancestry is non-existent. It's going to be all European and Asian, just in my opinion. It's not going to be anywhere in the quote unquote Middle East, just in my opinion. I could be wrong, though. You know, but but it's interesting to me because you can see how easily the world would just act like wrong. Right is wrong and wrong is right when it's convenient. And we've seen it time and time again. So for us, it's like it ain't our business, but we see how this is going. You know, it's just, but the, the whole history makes it hypocritical. But tell me what y'all think. Like, share, subscribe or die. Try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you.